5 Confessions on How Being an INFJ Really Looks Like Hi everyone! INFJs are the most mysterious people among 16 MBTI personality types. Not to mention they're one of the rarest personality types out there, INFJs possess complex personalities, often appear to be strange, and yet creative and highly intuitive at the same time. In today's video, I'm going to show you some pointers on how being an INFJ really looks like. While I can't speak for all INFJs, this confession will help you understand this personality better. But before that, don't forget to hit that like button below, subscribe to our channel, and activate the notification bell. 1. INFJs are generally strange people. While strange or normal is relative and doesn't really define who you are, let's start with this one. If you're an INFJ, I think you will understand this. The feeling that somehow you're different from others. The way you think is not like how everybody else thinks. And how you feel that you find it hard to meet someone who really gets you. In your whole life, you only have a handful of friends who can really understand you. So, do you think this is not strange? Complex Feelings Basically, INFJs have a lot of feelings, whether it's their own or those of others, that they may end up shouldering. They are emotional people, and with how sensitive and empathetic they are, they get easily carried away by other people's stories, especially the tragic ones. They often go the extra mile to listen to other stories and readily provide comfort to ease their suffering. As an INFJ, you have so much love in your heart for everyone, thus, you're destined to have a hold on so many feelings not paying attention to oneself. While most people think that the most important thing in life is for them to be happy and successful, this is not necessarily the case for INFJs. Instead of thinking about themselves, they find happiness by helping others. They feel joyful and tearful when they're able to help someone or ease their suffering. The downside to this is that sometimes they forget to take care of their own well-being. They end up burdening themselves too much with things that originally aren't theirs, to the point that they have to take a long time for recovery. Self-absorbed This is quite contrary to the points that I said before. While INFJs often sacrifice themselves for the greater good, they can be so self-absorbed sometimes. This is because they put a high standard in life, and not just anyone can compromise their life ideals. INFJs are no saint. While they may decide to help others, it's not necessarily for others' sake, instead, it could be for their own greater good. 5. Strong Sense of Intuition The feeling that you just know that feeling, something good or bad that is about to happen or has already happened. Yes, it's our gut feelings, and I believe it's not just INFJs who experience this, but at least, in the case of INFJs, this happens a lot because generally INFJs are more in tune with their intuition. Sometimes, they can predict occurrences without the need to know the why, this is because they strongly believe in their intuition, and they believe it's better to listen to it rather than trying to reason with it. And more often than not, they often came out to be true. Well, what do you think of this video? Can you relate to all of these or have any experiences regarding this? I hope you can tell us your story in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and activate the notification bell so you won't miss our future updates. Thank you for watching this video.